Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And the Doctor Who Christmas special, the musical Christmas special has come and gone and uh, not a whole lot of people watched it, relatively speaking. Not a whole lot of fans uh, seem to like it very well. And now we've got the media out there saying, if you don't like it, guess what? So you're right. Let me guess. You're a racist. You're sexist. You're... Tell a person in homophobic. Some way. Yeah, or, oh yeah, you're yeah, you're phobic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All all the things that we thought they were gonna say, they're saying it. You so hate we, black people. You hate black center. people. You yeah. hate gay people. You hate gay black people. You hate goblins. You hate singing goblins. You hate it all. You're just a hater. You're probably a Nazi. You're supposed to just like it and say thank you, and if you don't like it, say nothing. Exactly. But you're still supposed to watch because they need the numbers, right? So let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com, pick up a copy of Crimson Wren and previously on Clownfish TV. Uh, books are back in stock. Geeky has been furiously packing. Uh, Why do you keep saying that? I, I pack a lot of books. I, I, well, like, because your fingers are like on fire. They're not well. now, but they are calloused. Uh, they are. I have like dude hands right now. Anyway. Oh. Working dude hands. Working dude hands. Her hands are, are more calloused than mine are. I'm sorry. Uh, Ironically, my mom went to see a doctor the other day and said that it was, I think it was a dentist or something, and they had the softest hands. I was like, okay. Doctor <laughs> Soft Hands. OBGYN. Like, like, I don't think he's ever done any work. And I'm like, okay. He's a dentist. They work like 32 hours and then they go golfing. Uh, now, right now, we've got Dennis in the comments like, that's not true. Yeah, I worked 36 we're, hours. We're teasing. Anyway. And I don't golf. Apparently, this guy had really soft hands. <laughs> doctor Soft Hands. <laughs> just, just, I would be worried. I don't if, question if it. You went, if you went to a lady doctor called Doctor Soft Hands, I'd be like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> where, where, where are you going? Um, so let's uh, talk about this doctor. This is Doctor Who, and his ratings are soft. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry. There. There's another joke about softness, but we won't get into that. Anyway, continue. We're, we're going to talk about the ratings. We're going to talk about the audience reaction. Then we're going to look at the ridiculous uh, idiocy from the mainstream media trying to uh, portray the audience as being bad, being racist. Of course they are. Because nothing has changed. What year is this? 2023. We're going into 2024. And everybody's just like, of course you are. Of course you are. We know how the game is played at this point. Uh, Cosmic Book News puts it up. Doctor Who, Shooty Got, Shooty Got What? Shooty Got What? Uh, Christmas special ratings, lowest of the series. Oh, shocker. Yeah. Who would ever saw that? The ratings are going to be worse after David Tennant's gone because no one gives a shit. I never would have guessed. Yeah, the ratings are the worst of the series for a Christmas special and, uh, and are on par with the worst rated episodes of David Tennant's career in the three previous specials from Davies. So everything that Davies has put out recently is, sh is shit. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. The ratings are down. Shocker. I'm so surprised, I tell you. Shock Pikachu face. What the hell? The Doctor Who Christmas special ratings uh, come in at 4.73 million viewers, which uh, per below you can see is about a million less than the previous lowest rated Christmas special. Now, it is up a little bit over the last episode where David Tennant bi-generated uh, into Shooty Got One, also David Tennant. It, it, it's stupid. And we're going to talk about that because that, that's coming up again, too. Uh, update. It's also learned that Doctor Who's Christmas special came in third on Christmas in the UK behind the King's Message and the Strictly Come Dancing Christmas special. It's also reported that the Doctor Who Christmas special had 4.5 million viewers on Overnight TV, the UK's leading provider of, uh, oh, Overnight's dot TV, the UK's leading provider of Barb, Barb TV ratings. Okay, well, Brit British ratings. Okay. So, yeah. It didn't do well. That's all I care. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a bump. Now, from what I understand, talking to people who live in the UK, they said a lot of times what happens is uh, on Christmas, people will just turn it to the BBC and just leave the TV on because they have a bunch of Christmas specials and whatever, and they just leave it on in the background as they're eating dinner or whatever. So it could be that Doctor Who just came on and they're just watching it just because it was on. Yeah, it was Christmas. It was, it was on and it was in the background. But again, this isn't this isn't great. This isn't great for Doctor Who. You know, I'm having a real hard time here. I mean, I, this is how much I don't even care. We've talked about being soft. We've talked about bumps and getting it on. And I have not made jokes because I just don't care. <laughs> Nobody cares. That's the thing. Let's let's go out to see uh, what the uh, the audience reactions are 
uh, per autumn Mir- Mirabilis, I think it's Mirabilis on Twitter slash X. Uh, yeah, critics love it. It's not, okay, there's only 55 critic reviews on that, and the audience is 44% with like a lot more reviews. Okay, Thousand rating. That that was for um. This is for the special where he bi generated. Oh, the giggle. Yeah. Now this is the uh, the Church on Ruby Rose. I want to point special. out there's only 16. 16 critics that reviewed it. So after David Tennant was gone, even the critics checked out. Yeah. There's 16 and they have a hundred percent and it's all part of the ones that kiss their ass and give them money. And then the audience score actually dropped. Now it could change too, as it gives, you know, you, you get further out from it like a couple weeks later, like we did with the other one, but audiences went, they, their rating went down. It's going to, after the Christmas special, I predict my personal opinion, I predict it's going to bottom out lower than Jodie Whittaker. I think Jodie Whittaker's run chased a lot of people off. It's because they're all racist. No, it's because they're tired of your bullshit. And they they did this guy dirty by not making him the doctor. I mean, a doctor, but not the doctor. Well, okay. So before we get into the, uh, of course, the deflection it's 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 gotta be because you just hate black people and gay people um yeah uh people are pointing out that it split the doctor who fandom anyway because is shooty gotwa actually the doctor or is he a spinoff doctor because david Tennant's doctor still exists right you know it's a little weird to do it this way and uh, people are like okay this is so they can default back to david Tennant whenever they want to but it is Kind of a situation like Peter Parker, Miles Morales, like, yeah, Miles Morales may be a Spider-Man, but he's not the Spider-Man because Peter Parker's still out there uh, in a lot of cases. Now, in the ultimate Spider-Man universe, he wasn't. But, you know, when you've got them side by side, it's kind of hard to take Miles uh, seriously as Spider-Man because we've still got Peter in the picture, just like we have David Tennant. And if you follow the line of regeneration, David Tennant is the doctor and uh, Shudi Gatwa is like a crotch baby he had. He just kind of sprung out of his groin. Uh, I know. So then people are questioning, like, well, what, well, you know, like you said, it's like a Miles Morales situation. Like, well, just, this you, isn't the doctor. So that's going to bring us to this article on Newsweek. A Doctor Who Christmas special sparks racist backlash. Oh, of course, because it's always racism. It's never because people are like, what the fuck? Yeah. So I, I want to see a doctor just say, what the fuck? Um, That's what the audience is saying. The, the audience is saying, what the fuck? So look at this slideshow. This is funny because they go through. They actually they actually uh, uh, name check Master of the TDS uh, from Twitter on here who's been uh, saying some stuff about Doctor Who. I think it's kind of funny that they single him out because the, the tweet that they uh, picked up was addressing the fact that people don't really view him as the doctor because of the whole bi-generation thing, not because of the race thing. It's nothing about race. It's not about race. It's the fact that we've got, we still have David Tennant's doctor running around out there with, right. with this no, guy. But, you, but, you, but agenda, you have to make it fit what you're saying. So Okay, so after months of waiting, fans of Doctor Who finally wit- witnessed uh, Shudy Gatwa's, not very many of them, uh, finally witnessed Shudy Gatwa's uh, full debut as the show's Time Lord in a fun-filled fun filled what yeah but you know what the thing is though by the by the, the reviews and the ratings it doesn't seem like they liked it they did not uh not everyone's happy in this fun filled christmas special some viewers are voicing strong opinions about the new iteration no one, race. where are they saying about race they're just saying it's weird that there's two doctors uh okay so gatwa is known for his role in uh sex ed and bart he was in barbie was he in barbie Oh. Um, I didn't watch Barbie. You watched Barbie. I did, but I didn't really pay attention. Oh. Um, was he gay black Ken? Was that I don't know. Didn't pay attention. Okay, so he was in Sex Ed. Uh he's the 15th doctor. Is he or is he like 14B? Uh reportedly, Disney gave them a hundred million pounds cash infusion from Disney. That's why that's what sh- they came up with like a hundred million pounds, and they came up with that. Terrible song in this shit. Yes, it, but it's very expensive shit. I mean, I I, I will be honest. This is the best well, that Doctor Who is very expensive shit. <laughs> this is the best Doctor Who has looked since the Matt Smith era. They're actually putting money into it. Like Jodie Whittaker's was obviously budget cut. Okay, great. They're putting money into it. Cool. Well, except for the those uh what were they? The goblins? Goblins. They the look goblins. like shit. I'm they sorry. They, the CGI was terrible. But they're putting money into it. But then they should put putting money into the story. <laughs> they should. They're putting money into the message. Um, so let's see where we get here. Make the story good. They're not. All right. So they're like, oh, it's because he's black and gay. Most people are praising him, but there are some bigots. Most people don't care. Okay. Okay, the, there. Okay. 
the that's first their, that's their proof this is their proof a tweet from master of the tds hi by the way uh who we've covered before he's been collecting receipts he didn't say anything about the doctor being black he said david Tennant is the doctor shooty got what shooty got what the reason he's saying shooty got what is shooty got what is because one he doesn't act like the doctor but two david Tennant's still out there and a lot of people are like yeah this is like a spinoff character it's, it's not- like spider-man miles morales exactly like this is a spinoff. This is a derivative character. When you when you didn't show the doctor definitively regenerate into this new character, people are like, "Oh, well, there's the doctor, and here's the other guy with the." That's basically what they're doing with the knockoff do- Tardis. I mean, you use the, you know? the one of the most popular doctors ever, who's made reappearances a couple different times. So everybody associates the doctor with David Tennant, and now it's and who's this guy? You know what I mean? You, that which really wasn't fair. To to the the new actor at all? No, no. Um, and I don't think I. You know, here's the thing. I didn't hear a whole lot initially when they. I mean, maybe I just maybe you know I'm. Maybe uh, we're sheltered. We don't. We don't aren't are in those circles that people claim that we're in. But uh, I didn't hear a whole lot of complaint about his race when they announced him. They were like, "Oh God, okay, so this guy, he's kind of like they say he's a good actor, but they say he plays a pretty flamboyant character." And they're like, "How how are they gonna?" you know, gay up Doctor Who. And it's like, well, Russell, Russell T. Davies is coming back. So, you know. But you know what? Meanwhile, there are gay actors that played straight characters all the time. And where the doctor always, you know, even as a woman, liking women makes sense because it tracks because it's like, like he seems to like women this whole time. Well, it's like Aang and Cora. I mean, if you want to get technical. Yeah, I mean, it kind of tracks. But, you yeah. know. <laughs> um, But yeah, it's like, they draw the line at the fact that he's played by a black man. No, they draw the line at the fact that the show is trash. I mean, that's that's the thing. I don't give a shit. Uh, people aren't complaining about him being black. They're complaining about it being stupid. There's two doctors. Stupid. And, and it's they said it, it's gotten incredibly. So this is their proof. So this far. is their proof. This is okay, their proof two so tweets. Far. Uh, okay. Neither what one of these. It? Where are the people ones calling them calling them names? Just one of the most original fresh takes. Okay, wait. So where is the proof that everybody's racist? So far, I've seen one tweet taken out of context and people and people just defending it. Two yeah. tweets of people defending it. So where's the racist proof, Newsweek? Where's your proof, Billy Schwab Dunn? That's it. That's, That's it. That's proof. the proof. Is there any proof in the article besides that they said so? Um, no. No. Wait, somebody wrote an eggs. Rip Doctor Who, ruined by BBC, who wants to turn a straight white doctor into a black gay doctor, just to make more diverse for the black gay community. Uh, is this where a TV license is being? Is this where a TV license is being wasted on Doctor Who as a white male from start? You turned him into a gay symbol. Said one livid viewer on X. Show a link to this tweet. I don't see a link to this tweet. Someone tell me it's a Doctor Who, a black Doctor viewing figure zero. No offense for f's sake, but Doctor Who ain't black. That's it. Neither is he a woman. Doesn't sound like a real person. Said another. Show that's weird. That's really tweets. Weird. They're not linking to so these. So we tweets. have a few of these tweets that are supposedly are written by somebody else, and then and then Master TDS which said nothing that was about racism. Four people, four people allegedly said these things uh, about the Doctor. Here's the thing: people are getting tired of legacy characters being changed. The same people that are probably upset well, this about last the last one. They didn't even say anything racist. Uh, my Doctor Who obsessed son has finally consigned him to the bin. Last series was rocky, but it's the woke that's finally broke the spell. It's a pile of shit now, apparently. As usual, I didn't watch it. But that, you're racist. Hey, our kids checked out at Capaldi, and he was a straight white this guy. This one was a racist like, either. I've never seen anything so awful as Doctor Who regenerating into generic Disney Mary Sue hero who's exactly the same as every other character Disney's destroyed. That's not racist. That's just truth. But that's not racist. No. So they're all racist because they don't like the doctor, and I do. Boo hoo hoo. Here's a bunch of tweets with no proof that they actually exist, and then a couple that aren't even racist. This is this is but so you put stupid. that tweet in. No, this is so freaking now they're going through the whole like Doctor Who's always been progressive. What fucking year is it? Who is this Billy Schwab done? Uh she looks the way you would totally expect. Okay, she studied media and journalism. I did a journalism. Oh, okay, pop sugar. She studied me. She studied media and okay, whatever. Hey, her face is on the pop website. sugar. Who was you know pretty much bought up by Disney? It was bought by Disney. So here's okay. So here's the Disney owns money. It owns part of Doctor Who. Yes, she wrote for Pop Sugar, which was pretty much owned by Disney. Yes, um, and now she's on Newsweek putting 
the, yeah, basically saying that anybody that doesn't like Disney's Doctor Who is a bigot and a racist and uh-huh. misusing, misquoting people. Yeah, I think there's something so going on. So the white on. woman's telling us all how to be a black man, a gay black man. I think there's definitely something going on here uh, with Disney. And they're going to go on the, the – because they spent, you know, 100 million pounds, right? Um, Disney doing Disney things, attacking the fans again. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just, I think everybody's checking but out. People that you, you literally, you change, you, I mean, I'm sorry. How it comes across to the general public? How this is this how it comes across? You took a legacy character once again. Yeah. Who has been male throughout the entire iteration of the show. Yep. Now made him female for, you know, agenda. Then turned around, and now you had to bring the your old doctor back to try to get interest in the show back again because you killed it with your last doctor. And then to do that, you brought him back and one of the most popular companions with him. Then you used him to to slam people on trans issues and pronoun usage. Yep. <laughs> then you used him to suddenly say that he's gay for no reason and, and you race bet Isaac Newton. And doctor's now hot for Isaac Newton for no reason other than... You know, we have to get people prepped for the new gay doctor. And then when you get to the doctor, you can't even commit to it. You make, you keep David Tennant around as a spare in case He's the new guy, he the is. new black gay guy, isn't going to fly with audiences. You did it all for agenda. Whether you say you did or not, you did. It's, I mean, that's how people are interpreting it. You can call them names to the, to the fucking cows come home. But the, the truth is the truth. Everybody sees through your bullshit. The emperor's not wearing clothes. I mean, even when he was transformed, he was in underpants. He couldn't even get pants on, apparently. Not wearing clothes. People are tired of it. They see through it. And no matter how much you call them a racist, bigot, whatever, it doesn't change the fact that that's what's going on. People are on to it. Oh, and yeah. you did this guy a disservice because he's not even the doctor now. The doctor's still the doctor, and this is an offshoot of the doctor. Yeah, he's a knockoff doctor. He's even got a knockoff TARDIS. He took a mallet. Hit the TARDIS, the actual TARDIS, which David Tant's doctor still has. He hit the TARDIS with a mallet, and then boing, here's another I'm TARDIS. Sorry, I hate making this joke, but all I can think of is multiplicity. And you keep making a copy of a copy of a copy, and they get to the one, and he's like, you know, special needs. And he's like, you know, she touched my pee-pee. I like, I like pizza and stuff like that. And then you're you're hitting the hammer, and he makes a TARDIS. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm just like... I can't remember, that joke just popped in my head. And I hate people when they use misuse the they, they use that as like a slur. But uh I hate that people do that. <laughs> but that's the title <laughs> of the just, video, it's retardist. Just, it's just um, it's just no, so I... uh, it aligns so well. I'm just I'm this just so mad. The, Disney. The, the media is, the... is out like, you know, oh, you're just a bunch of hater bigots. What? No, I don't even care. I don't even care. You know what I no care one about? Cares. That's why you're not shit pointing and, and laughing shit. that's what i care about because it's like it's so predictable you're and, and, boring and again, you're predictable it's and every people in the yeah. comments are saying yeah. disney's doing a disney and then, disney's doing and then disney. you got to the rotten tomatoes numbers and they're even the critics aren't even caring enough to review the damn no. thing and then the audience reviews are are not good yeah yeah i mean this is just yeah woke doctor who will fill attract viewers less than one percent of the population uh, we'll watch his show. It's yeah, basically run, basically run. If you don't like it, don't watch. That's what they're doing. Everybody these days are so could complain. Don't like it, don't watch. And then when they don't watch, the show's numbers tank because that's not for it's it's for the special people and their friends and not the general public. And then the the show tanks, and then you start screaming at tank because of the bigots. You just got on telling them not to watch your show, so they don't watch your show, and that means you're telling the majority of people not to watch your show because they all a lot of us think you're full of shit. And it's nothing to do with him being black and gay. It's everything to do with the fact that you keep making these stupid changes for agenda's sake, and then you're saying that you know, oh, you have to like it, and the, and you didn't even give him a chance because you didn't even make him the doctor. So I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put out a hot take here. I'm gonna That's okay. Out. I always do it. You can give your hot. All take. All right. So here's the thing: when Doctor Who was at its peak, a popularity, it's New Zenith. Who, it's Zenith. I like the same Zenith. When it was the most popular, there was an attractive younger male Doctor in the mm-hmm. TARDIS. Attractive eh, for debate, but go ahead. attractive-ish. I don't know. I'm, I'm not I never attracted found to any cute, of them, but, but you know. Um, but I there, thought it was good though. There was there was a younger uh, younger doctor in the TARDIS. There was uh, sexual tension with the companion a lot of times, whether it was Rose or Amy Pond, and uh, that's when Doctor Who was most popular. Why? I think it attracted a lot of uh, female viewers to the franchise. 
you know, whereas old Doctor Who was mostly kids and dorky men, you know, watched it. There but, were women too, but yeah, yeah. but the women, the women, the the women wanted that, that kind of like, oh yeah, hey, I want to go on an adventure with this guy, kind of a thing. Um, they wanted that, and uh, when they changed that to Peter Capaldi, and it was very clear he wasn't your boyfriend. He even said flat one of the first things he said, you know, as the twelfth Doctor was, "I'm not your boyfriend." You know, uh, when they changed that dynamic. And that actually was uh, kind of reverting it back to classic Doctor Who. They lost a chunk of the audience um, because the women that wanted that, you know, younger doctor with a female companion, they left because they're like, ah, oh, it's just some old dude. And he's made it very clear. He's not. There's nothing going on. Eh, Claire is annoying as fuck. Claire, Claire was annoying. Bill, Bill wasn't much better. Well, then when they brought like Bill, Bill better, in. better, but still. When they brought Bill in and Bill had to remind us in every episode. Every where, episode. Every episode where sexual orientation was. I like, like Bill better than Clara, but I got tired of that every episode. <sighs> yeah, every episode. Um, like, yes, we know. Yes, we know. I, I would love it, Doctor. Yes, Bill, we know. We, why aren't the other companions like an Amy? Because I'm straight. Because I like dudes because i like dick because i'm straight uh, you know why doctor they, did i mention that i like dick if they had and the girl if they had your the amy pond saying that their viewership would have gone through <laughs> amy pond i like ginger dick. saying i like the hot ginger chick saying she like dick your numbers would have shot through the roof well i mean she, other, some of the other things but that's another story she uh she dressed up as the the uh the police, police officer. officer yeah like that so i mean look that and that's the thing. That was a huge difference between New Who and and Classic Who. But that 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 romance uh, angle that that absolutely secured them a pretty large female viewership. There were more women in the Doctor Who than there ever was before. And then you saw it kind of drop off with Capaldi, and then you know it's kind of kiss of death with Bill because then you started introducing a lot of the, the you know the gender politics and stuff into it and the ideology and stuff, and then. Uh, even though Missy was a hell of a lot of fun. And then when we got to the Chibnall era, then, well, now we're going to, the doctor's a woman and. Because women want to be the doctor. Not yeah. The and they doctor. said it's that. Like, no, we want to go hang with the doctor. I don't want to be the doctor. It was one of the showrunners. I can't remember. Was it that Julie or whatever? She was at a comic con and they had a lot of women in the audience for doctor who. And, and, um, you know, they're like, oh yeah, I want to go. I want to travel with the doctors. So like, no, no, I'm going to tell you what you want. You want to be the doctor. So now, you know, like, no, no, I don't. I want to travel with the doctor. And they didn't. And here we are again. So then people were willing to give the show a chance. They're going to bring back David Tennant, but they make sure that they dress him down. They make sure that they tell him, well, he was smarter when he was a woman. And, oh, hey, the doctor doesn't know anything about pronoun usage. And, oh, by the way, uh, Chibnall made sure we all knew that the doctor started as a little black girl, you know, abandoned and all this crap that just upended everything. And so now here we are again. Now we're like, okay, now we're going to have the, the, the gay, uh, clubbing, uh, singing, dancing doctor. And I'm like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I'm saying, who is this for? You know what I'm saying? Like you want the, you want the audience. If you want the audience to come back. No, they don't. They want a new audience that doesn't exist. They don't exist. The same with comics, same with video games. And then they say, with, if you don't like it, don't watch it. And they don't they're watch not watching it. it. And then they're not watching it. You're and a you're bigot if you don't watch it. it. You don't like right. it? Yeah. You're I, a bigot if you watch it. You're a bigot if you don't watch it. Fuck you. Don't care. Make up your fucking mind. Not a bigot either way. Sit and spin. What do you want? You know, make up your mind. You can't have it both ways. You want the largest amount of people possible to watch your show. Then you have to appeal to the largest demographic possible. It might be that it's not something that you personally uh, like. It's not your cup of tea, but that's what people want. You're yeah, just make show. it feel like the doctor, and there you go. I feel like the doctor. That's it. You know, singing and dancing with the goblins and clubbing. That's not exactly Doctor Who. Uh, I don't think so, but uh, whatever. What the hell do I know? I'm not in charge. I just don't watch it. I don't give a shit. I no don't care. No one's watching it. That's the problem. I don't care. And they're just losing people every every time they put a new episode out. They lose more people. Good luck with all that, right? Yeah, have fun. Good luck. We're going to wrap it up? Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.